Okay, Sean, give us the news part one. Hi guys, thanks for joining us on YouTube, but as Sarah said, this is part one, but it's part two, because part one was on our other platform, guys. We've got two platforms now, don't forget to like and share. Guys, I'm going to give you a quick update today on what's happening on the war front, and I'm going to give you my, um, my analysis of this, and you're not going to get that anywhere else, guys, okay? So we're going to talk about the threat that Putin's given, and we're going to give backdrop and context on what's going to happen next. So backdrop and context to this video, guys, is the Russian election is tomorrow on the 15th. And that's going to run 15th, 16th and 17th. And after that, guys, be under no illusion. Everything's going to kick off. It's going to go Old Testament and it's going to get kinetic. There's a lull at the moment and it's just to get this election gone through. So I'm going to work today, guys, on one thing but two articles. And I'm going to break it down for you on what it means. I'm going to go off an article from The Sun um that they released yesterday and i'm gonna and the reason i'm going for this i'm gonna tell you the propaganda and i'm gonna say what it really means so basically um russia is ready for nuclear war putin vows in most chilling world war three yet while warning weapons are there to be used so that's the headline guys what this is basically saying is that vladimir putin he's come out again and he said listen guys you know we've got nuclear weapons and we will use them and one of the things that he talks about is if the Russian um, Russian sovereignty, the Russian state, becomes under threat itself. Now, there's the argument that the locations in Ukraine are not actually Russian. You know, and you can argue that either way. I personally don't think they are Russian. I think that the borders should be as of the borders in 2013. But, you know, that, that that's a different story. But what the Russians are saying is if they have a threat to their sovereignty, to their nation, to their way of life, they will use nuclear weapons. Now, let's keep that in the back of our minds and then let's look what the um, what Poland are claiming. So Poland claims that this is a, an article from The Express. Poland claims NATO troops already present in Ukraine in a horrifying escalation to World War Three. So now you've got Poland and other countries coming out saying, hey, listen, you know what? There's already NATO troops in Ukraine. So you've got these two things now and, and we're, we're in loggerheads just moving towards each other. And it doesn't seem like either of these things are going to stop. So Putin's now come out and he said, right, any threat to Russia any uh, NATO troops in Ukraine, we see that as a threat to Russia. We'll use nuclear weapons. NATO are coming out and they're saying, well, guys, listen, we've already got NATO troops in Ukraine. And what you're going to see with the NATO troops in Ukraine, you're going to see something called mission creep, which is basically where, OK, so we just put a few special forces guys in there just to see what's happening. All right, cool. OK, right. While those special forces guys are there, go and stand by that missile to make sure it's launched. OK, OK, we'll go and do that. OK, right, we need some more guys. OK, we need some more um, attachments and detachments. OK, we need support staff. And the, the amount of NATO troops will be slowly building now, still under the guise of a non-deployment. At some point, at some point, guys, this is just going to be common knowledge and there's, it's going to be common knowledge that there's NATO troops operating in Ukraine. Russia is then going to have to make or break. They're going to have to, you know, make their choice. Now, the reason this is really important and my my opinion as somebody who's followed this for a long time and I know all about the Cold War. When Khrushchev um, in the uh, in the in the in the Cold War, when Khrushchev was sending his ships down to Cuba to send missiles. At the last minute, Khrushchev stopped and, you know, he called his bluff, he, you know, uh, Kennedy called his bluff and he turned his ships round and everybody applauded Khrushchev and said he would save the world from, you know, annihilation. Now, Vladimir Putin was a young KGB agent and he had to watch that. So under no circumstances do I think Vladimir Putin will, you know, have his bluff called. I feel 100% he will throw these bombs. And that's my opinion. And that is what I'm giving you guys. I'm giving you my opinion. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Don't forget to like and follow. Thank you.